The future is in the cloud and cloud engineers are the architects building the digital infrastructure of tomorrow. By 2025, it's estimated that the world will store an astounding 200 zettabytes, that is 2 billion terabytes of data in the cloud. And the architects building this digital infrastructure are cloud engineers. The best part, cloud engineering offers a rewarding career path with immense potential. In the United States alone, the average base salary for a cloud engineer is around $137,000 per year. If you are looking for a stimulating career with excellent earning potential, cloud engineering might be the perfect fit for you. This guide is your roadmap to success in the cloud field. We will walk you through a step-by-step -step process transforming your daily routine into a springboard for a cloud engineering career. So buckle up and get ready to embark on the journey to become a cloud engineer. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that you should start with is computer networking. So think of cloud as a giant network of interconnected computers. These computers store and run applications you access, like web services, emails, and file storage. Without understanding how data travels across this network, it's like trying to navigate a city without knowing the streets or signs. In the cloud, Data needs to move seamlessly between servers, databases, and user devices. Networking is the backbone that makes this possible, ensuring reliable and efficient communication. So by understanding networking concepts like IP addresses, protocols, and subnetting, you can work better on some things like, first, design and configure secure cloud networks. So you will know how to set up secure connections between different parts of your cloud infrastructure such as between virtual machines, databases, and external services. This ensures that data reaches the right destination safely, protecting against the authority, access, and cyber threats. So second we have is optimize network performance. So with a solid grasp of networking, you can troubleshoot network issues, identify bottlenecks, and implement solutions to enhance data flow. This ensures that applications run smoothly, providing a better user experience and improving overall system efficiency. Then at third we have is choose the right cloud services. So yes, this is the third point. So different cloud providers offer varying network features and capabilities. So by understanding the basics of networking, you can make informed decisions about which services best meet your needs. This helps you leverage the strengths of different cloud offerings to build a more effective and efficient infrastructure. Now that you have a grasp of the underlying network, let's dive into the operating system and powering cloud environments. So the second thing that is important for cloud engineering is knowledge of operating system. So most cloud platforms run on Linux based operating systems. Being comfortable with Linux allows you to interact with and manage cloud resources directly. Imagine it like having a house key, knowing how to use the key, that is the Linux commands. So Linux commands grants you access and control over your cloud environment. So Linux provides the foundation for many cloud services and understanding. It helps you navigate and manage your cloud infrastructure efficiently. So by learning Linux basics like user management, file system and the CLI, that is command line, you can first manage your cloud instances. So you will be able to configure settings, install software, and troubleshoot issues directly on the cloud servers. This hands-on control means you can quickly adapt to your environment to meet the needs of your applications and services, ensuring everything runs smoothly. Then second is automate tasks. So Linux scripting allows you to automate repetitive tasks, saving you time and effort in managing your cloud infrastructure. Whether it's your scheduling backups, monitoring system performance, or deploying updates, Automation streamlines operations and reduces the chance of human error. So third is work efficiently with cloud tools. So many cloud management tools have Linux foundation. So familiarity with Linux makes it easier to use them efficiently. From orchestration platforms like Kubernetes to configuration management tools like Ansible, knowing Linux helps you leverage these tools to their full potential, enhancing your productivity and effectiveness as a cloud engineer. All right, so this was about why knowledge of operating system is important to become a cloud engineer. So with an understanding of network and operating system, we can explore the concept of virtualization, which is another important thing if you want to become a cloud engineer. So virtualization is a game changer in cloud computing. 
it allows you to create multiple virtual machines on a single physical layer. Think of it like having multiple apartments in one building. Each VM acts as a separate computer with its own operating system and resources. This capability maximizes the use of physical hardware and provides the flexibility to run different applications independently on the same physical infrastructure. So how it helps? So understanding virtualization empowers you to optimize resource utilization, which is our first point. So by creating VMs instead of using dedicated physical servers, you can efficiently utilize cloud resources and reduce cost. This means you can run multiple applications on same hardware, making the most out of the available resources and improving overall efficiency. Then there is scale applications up or down. Need more computing power for your application? Just create additional VMs. Need to scale down? Simply shut down VMs you don't need. Virtualization provides this flexibility allowing you to adjust resources based on the demand without the need for additional physical hardware. Then there is test and deploy applications safely. So create isolated VMs environments for testing new applications without affecting existing ones. This isolation ensures that any issues or bugs in the application do not impact your production environment, allowing for safer and more efficient development and deployment processes. All right, so data is the fuel that drives most cloud applications. Let's understand how they play a crucial role in cloud engineering. So let's understand about database. So data is the lifeblood of most cloud applications. And databases store and manage this data efficiently. Understanding databases is crucial for interacting with and managing the information powering your cloud applications. So by learning about database types like relational, that is SQL and NoSQL and concepts like data querying and administration, you can choose the right database for your application. So different databases are suited for different types of data. Knowing the functionalities of each helps you select the most efficient solution for your needs. Next is work with cloud managed databases. So many cloud platforms offer managed database services. Understanding database basics equips you to utilize these services efficiently and manage your cloud applications data with ease. The next is troubleshoot data related issues. If your cloud application encounters data access problems, your database knowledge allows you to diagnose and resolve them efficiently. So in these ways, database helps a cloud computing or cloud engineer. Now that you have built a strong foundation in networking, operating systems, virtualization and databases, it's time to take your cloud engineering journey to the next level. Certifications. Think of them like badges that showcase your expertise in specific cloud platforms. So get certified. So cloud certifications validate your understanding of a particular cloud platform's technology and services. They act as a stamp of approval showing employers you have interested time and effort in learning the platform and its functionalities. Each major cloud provider that is AWS, Azure, GCP offers its own certification programs. Consider which cloud platform you find most intriguing or aligns best with your career goals. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. One such amazing course is the Microsoft Azure Developer Associate course by Simply Learn. So this program familiarizes you with Azure computing solutions, functions, and storage. You will master authentication and authorization, ensuring robust solution security using key vault and managed identities. The course also covers connecting and consuming Azure third-party services, along with integrating event-based and message-based models. With practical hands-on experience, you will be equipped to excel in Azure development and implement secure, efficient solutions. Enroll today. The course link is in the description box. Now that you have equipped yourself with the essential knowledge and potentially some certifications, it's time to get your hands dirty with projects. So think of them as your training ground where you can experiment, apply your skills and build a portfolio that showcases your capabilities to potential employers. So why projects matter? That is first one, practical experience. Real world projects allows you to solidify your theoretical knowledge and put your skills into action. You'll encounter challenges, troubleshoot problems and learn valuable lessons that textbooks can't reach. The next is portfolio building. So projects serve as a concrete examples of your work. 
create a portfolio website or online repository where you can showcase your projects. All right, then next is confidence booster. So successfully completing projects instills confidence in your abilities. You will be able to confidently discuss your experience and approach to challenges during job interviews. With your newfound knowledge and certification projects, you are ready to take on the job market. So here are some tips for crafting the winning application. So these tips you should keep in mind as you walk on a cloud engineering adventure. All right. So the first one we have is level up via open source. So contribute to open source cloud projects, gain a real world experience, collaborate with engineers and work with production grade infrastructure. The next is build your cloud playground. So set up a personal cloud lab using free tires or low cost subscriptions, experiment, test new features and break things safely. The next is cloud influencers. Identify cloud influencers, bloggers and YouTubers. Learn from their unique insights, best practices and even day in the life experiences. So by following this step-by-step -step roadmap and consistently developing your skills, you will be on your way to become a sought after cloud engineer. Remember, the cloud landscape is constantly evolving. So embrace continuous learning and stay updated on the latest trends. All right, with that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching, stay safe and keep learning. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.